Hi guys, welcome to Universe View Odyssey channel. Complementarity, opposites are complementary. Complementarity is a conceptual aspect of quantum mechanics that Niels Bohr regarded as an essential feature of the theory. Complementarity principle holds that two opposing physical quantities complement each other to form a single object or world. This indicates that the universe is composed of indivisible elements that complement each other while opposing each other. Therefore, from the point of view of understanding the atomic world, the principle of complementarity is that mutually exclusive concepts in classical physics play a complementary role in understanding the world of quantum physics. The complementarity principle is inextricably linked with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Whereas the uncertainty principle is a mathematical statement about the quantum world, the complementarity principle is a philosophical and comprehensive statement about the quantum world. The complementarity principle can be understood as an epistemological framework for understanding the uncertainty principle. The complementarity principle is said to have been conceived by Niels Bohr during a skiing holiday in Norway in February 1927. The most important thing Bohr focused on after returning from vacation was discussing, interpreting, and establishing Heisenberg's uncertainty principle with him. Heisenberg, who identified quantum states as particles and created matrix mechanics, assumed that the observation was a matter of collision between two particles, photons and electrons. Therefore, uncertainty, initially inaccuracy, was seen as arising from the discontinuity and unpredictability involved in the measurement process. However, Bohr applied wave mechanics and argued that the origin of the inaccuracy was in the wave-particle duality. In other words, Bohr interpreted the root cause of the inaccuracies to be the combination of two exclusive concepts, particles and waves, quantum collisions and optical resolution. Bohr also argued that the inaccuracy reflects a discrepancy between quantum and classical mechanics. Bohr interprets the uncertainty principle by applying the complementarity principle. Bohr was working with Heisenberg at the time to harmonize the mathematical formulas of matrix mechanics and wave mechanics with atomic phenomena. Heisenberg's matrix mechanics is a mathematical form that describes quantum states as particles, and Schrödinger's wave mechanics describes quantum states as waves. Bohr thought that in order to reconcile these two mathematical descriptions that were found to be physically equivalent, it was necessary to understand and explore the particle-wave duality of quantum. It was a revolutionary change of thinking for Bohr, who did not believe in Einstein's light quantum hypothesis until the mid-1920s. He saw through the fact that the wave and particle nature of quantum play mutually exclusive yet complementary roles. In other words, an observer can grasp an event in two different ways of observing it. These two observation methods sometimes exclude each other, but on the other hand, complement each other. By combining these two observation methods, one phenomenon can be intuitively and completely solved. Bohr considered the uncertainty relation to be a special case of the general situation of the complementarity principle. Let's look at Bohr's point of view again. He paid attention to the two exclusive and complementary properties of particle and wave that exist in the same substance. According to the perspective of classical physics, particles that exist in a limited area and waves that exist in a certain range of space are completely exclusive and contradictory concepts. However, according to quantum theory, these two concepts are found in the same electron. However, electrons do not exhibit the characteristics of both particles and waves at the same time. Electrons behave like waves when not observed, and are discovered as particles when observed. Depending on whether we observe or not, the properties of electrons are completely different. This means that it is fundamentally impossible to accurately grasp both physical quantities. The principle of complementarity is that two opposing physical quantities complement each other to form a single object or world. This universe is composed of indivisible elements that complement each other while opposing each other. Bohr said, while particle and wave phenomena seem so contrasting, we must recognize that in order to accurately and unambiguously grasp the atomic world in everyday language, we must recognize that we must use both complementarily. In addition to particle and wave nature, these pairs of physical concepts include position and momentum, or, in the double slit experiment, paths and interference fringes. 
Let's interpret Heisenberg's gamma ray microscope in terms of the principle of complementarity. Two completely different devices are needed to accurately measure two physical quantities, that is, position and momentum, that are linked to each other in complementarity. In order to accurately measure the position, a microscope with a very high resolution that collects light at a large angle is required, and a microscope with a very low resolution is required to accurately measure the momentum. A microscope with both high resolution and low resolution, that is, a microscope that simultaneously collects light scattered at a large angle and light scattered at a small angle is impossible in principle. This is evident in the mathematical form of quantum mechanics as demonstrated by Heisenberg. According to this, it is mathematically impossible to have a quantum mechanical state of an electron in which both position and momentum are well defined. Therefore, purely mathematically, there can be no electron that has both a well-defined position and a well-defined momentum. This is a simple example showing that the complementarity principle is inseparably related to the uncertainty principle. On April 13, 1927, Bohr sent Heisenberg's uncertainty thesis to Einstein, in which he emphasized that complementarity of his own played a large role in deepening the uncertainty principle. He also sent Wolfgang Pauli a letter on August 13 of the same year stating that superposition and individuality are complementary rather than opposite. Bohr first officially announced the complementarity principle at the International Physical Society Conference held in Como, Italy, on September 16 of that year to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Volta's death. Regarding the principle of complementarity, British genius physicist Paul Dirac said, it has brought about a great, perhaps the greatest change in the worldview of physicists. And Robert Oppenheimer described it as, the beginning of a new era in human thought. Bohr believed that complementarity is one of the most profound concepts we have when it comes to describing nature. He tried to apply the concept of complementarity to areas other than physics. Thus, he even came up with a wonderful sentence that the truthfulness and clearness of a statement are complementary to each other. It means that it is difficult to explain the contents of a fact accurately and in detail and at the same time to state it simply and clearly. In the case of Zen Quiz, the expression is short and simple, but in fact, it is difficult to understand the contents. Adding explanations to help understand the content makes the statement longer. In the case of a thesis, the content is clear but the statement is never concise. In writing the press articles, quick and accurate can be said to be complementary. It's almost impossible to write articles quickly and accurately in the face of an impending deadline. Pursuing promptness leads to less accuracy, and pursuing accuracy tends to miss deadlines. However, the press pursue quick and accuracy at the same time. Bohr attended the 1922 Nobel Prize ceremony wearing clothes with Pakua pattern on them. Bohr was also awarded the Order of Elephant by the Danish government in 1947. After that, he made his own family coat of arms with the Tejuk pattern and the phrase, Contraria sunt complementa, opposites are complements. Bohr's family coat of arms. The Tejuk pattern and the phrase, Contraria sunt complementa, Contraria sunt complementa, are distinctive. The yin and yang of the Tejuk are opposite but complementary. In 1927, physicists at the Copenhagen School centered on Bohr, discovered the complementarity principle following the uncertainty principle, and finally arrived at a consistent interpretation of quantum theory. This is often referred to as the Copenhagen interpretation. Thus, the sprout of quantum theory, which began with Planck's energy quantum hypothesis in 1900, was established as a systematic theory in 27 years. However, although the Copenhagen interpretation is a standard interpretation of quantum theory, it does not mean the completion of quantum theory. This interpretation was put to the test at the Solvay conference held in Brussels that year. That was Einstein's strong objection. Thanks for watching. You can read this story in Injury Time, injurytime.kr.